In my previous video, I showed you how to set up a Start9 personal server, as well as a Bitcoin node on that server. Now in this video, I'll be showing you how to connect your Bitcoin node to your Sparrow wallet. What we need to do is launch Start9 in our browser and go to services to ensure that Bitcoin Core is running and it is fully synced. Here I can see success, Bitcoin Core is synced with the network. Next, we want to install Electrum server. So I'm going to click on marketplace on the left here and then underneath Bitcoin, download this here, Electrum server. I'm going to click on that and then click on install. Now it will show this alert and warning. I'm okay with this. I have more than enough RAM. So I'm going to click on install and it is going to begin that installation. Now I'm going to click on services and then here I can see Electrum server is currently installing. All right, a few minutes have passed and we can see Electrum server or Electris is installed and it needs config. So I'm going to click on Electrum server, then click on configure. Now it says Electrum server has been automatically configured with recommended defaults. Make whatever changes you want, then click save. So I'm going to leave these on the default settings that Start9 suggests and click on save. And there we go, that is saved. Now notice that we do have a dependency here. That just means that in order for Electrum server to work, we need Bitcoin Core installed and we have already done that previously. So we're good to go here. What we need to do now is actually start running our Electrum server. To do that, simply click on start over here and then it's going to give you this warning about RAM. I have enough RAM, so I'm going to click on continue. And there we go, Electrum server is running. It's going to do some health checks and then it's going to start syncing. So we'll just give that a moment to fully sync. It is the next day and Electrum server is fully synced. So I've logged back into Start9. I'm going to click on services, then click on Electrum server. And here we can see success. The indexes are built and Electrum interface is fully operational and you may now connect a wallet. So let's take a look at how to connect this to our Sparrow Bitcoin wallet. What I'm going to do is make this screen smaller and then I'm going to launch my Sparrow wallet. Now within Sparrow wallet, what we want to do is click on Sparrow at the top left of our screen, then click on settings and then click on server at the bottom left over here. Now we can go ahead and adjust which server we're connected to by clicking edit existing connection we will be connecting to a private Electrum server. So I click on that over here. Now what we need to do is enter some information about our server so that Sparrow can connect to that server. To find this information, I'm going to go back to start OS and I'm going to make sure I am on Electrum server and click on properties over here. Now we will see a quick connect URL, a host name and a port. What we are after is the host name and port the host name will end in .onion. What I'm going to do is copy that by clicking the copy button over here, and then I'm going to head back to Sparrow Wallet. Now in Sparrow Wallet, I'm going to paste that URL in the URL tab over here. So I paste that in and it ends in .onion. Everything looks good. Next, we need to insert the port number over here. So what I'm going to do is open Start OS again, and then I'm going to copy the port by clicking copy to the right of that. Then we go back to Sparrow and paste the port number in to the right of that URL. And that is all the information that Sparrow needs. What I need to do now is click on test connection and it's going to attempt to connect to my Start9 server. And there we go, a few seconds later, we can see I have connected successfully to my Electrum server. Now, if I close the screen, notice that at the bottom right, this little toggle turns blue. That means this is a private Electrum server that I've connected to and it's currently flashing, meaning it's attempting to connect. And there we go, that means it is now connected to my server. And there we go, that is how to connect Sparrow to your Start9 server. At this point, all you need to do is ensure that your Start9 is constantly running and it's running Bitcoin Core and Electrum server and that this toggle at the bottom right of Sparrow is blue. That means I'm connected to that server and all my connections will be private and I will no longer be trusting any third parties with my information.